We're back for another daily recap, starting off the day about an hour before the market opens, 8.30 a.m. So they're around 5.50 near kind of where they closed yesterday. and re- Well, below where they closed and the low of yesterday is kind of white space. Don't really have a lot of levels. They're kind of spread out. But I considered putting a level at 554. You know, that's the bottom of that range. They've been fighting for quite a while, for a couple weeks or so. And since they already closed hourly candles below that, then that bullish consolidation that would typically play out to the upside may be off the table for a while. They continue to close candles below 554, then uh, that could be a sign for something else, a lower destination. So I'm going to keep an eye on 554. Um, Not going to be on the board today, but it could provide some type of Overhead resistance, but definitely 555.72, there's a reason for that. And if they get below, down below the low of yesterday, 549.45, you can see how that lines up with the low of yesterday. That's probably going to provide some type of support if they get down there. They may not hit any levels at all today. We'll see. They're kind of spread out. But in any case, we'll find out after the market closes. We'll come back to this chart to analyze any trades taken in the futures based off these levels of support and resistance in the SPY. Catch you on the other side. And here we are. It's uh, 12 or so hours later, 8.38 p.m. And so it looks like they pretty much were flat all day, doesn't it? Well, there's actually a pretty good size move, like 48 points from high to low so it's spread out. And I want to point something out also. So um, didn't have any other levels, as you can see on the board. They only hit this one. It's pretty precise, actually. But look at 554. We talked, talked about that this morning. So here's, here's where 554 was. They poked their head above this for about 10 minutes or so and then fell down. Would have been a good trade, but... I don't know, really wasn't sure about uh, what they would do there. And the rest, of the, the rest of the time, they kind of hung around the close from yesterday. Here's that general area. But anyway, nothing doing until they got down to here. So what's what's the operating level? It's 549.50. Bring it up five pennies. And when they hit it the first time, it was just perfect. And then they, within one minute, they gave a base hit. So I don't have a recording of my trade um, because honestly, I was bouncing around other screens and making sure there was something else down here to kind of validate this level not just the low from yesterday. And it turned out that was a pretty good area. So I don't have a recording of it, but playing by the rules, that's definitely a base hit. And that's what I did too on a couple on a couple contracts. And unfortunately, 544 was kind of left alone, but that was where they met some resistance because really that's the battle area. Think about it. They've been in this range way up here between 564 and 554. They couldn't get above 564, couldn't get below 554. And when they did start closing a lot of hourly candles below it, well, that's going to be a battle area when they get back up to it. And that's what happened. So sorry I didn't have that level on the board. Would have worked pretty well. I knew about it in the morning, but it is what it is. We'll just take this one trade for the day. Not complaining. Should be fairly straightforward. Here is the playing by the rules log. The one base hit at 549.45 or 549.50, four points. And same thing I did um, on a couple contracts. Here's the notes. And as usual, you can look at all the averages and totals. This is everything from 2022 through today. That's pretty much all I have today. Come back tomorrow, do it again with new levels. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Catch you in the recap video for tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.